Where Leaky am faucets I? here. Leak one sign in. Leak two sign in. It's over. Uh, I'm back. Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way is clear. At any rate, rejoice. Great things await us. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. He was your brother. Why did you kill him? He never meant you any harm. Oh, Louis, I, I am exhausted. Let's talk about this later. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Holm told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emily's in her room. Emily? Yes. What's happening, Louis? You look... I... Ho Holm is dead. Good God, he did it! What do you mean? He warned me that Mortimer would probably try to get rid of him. He couldn't believe it himself. But we have to admit that he was right to be wary. We are in great danger, Louis. Wait, what are you talking about? When Gregory came to warn me, he assured me that we would be the next to go down. I don't understand. Why would Mortimer attack us? His brother, then his children. He feeds on us. Pardon me? The bastard! They've been right under our noses all this time, Emily. Saturn devouring his children, and without Gregory to obstruct him. Now, we're easy prey. No, no, it's, it's impossible. No. He's insane, Emily. But, but don't worry. We're together now, and he doesn't know that we know. Which means that we have the advantage. When I brought up the possibility of us running away as quickly as we could, Gregory dissuaded me. He thought that Mortimer would see it coming, and that we would have no chance. I guess I agree with him, and now we're here. I'm not gonna let him get away with it. There's two of us now, Emily. We can count on each other. Well, on that note, I haven't told you everything, Louis. This might be a bit hard for you to accept, so I wanted to warn you. There are three of us. Surprise, brother. Excuse me? It's Emma, Louis. Just before he disappeared, Holm explained to me how to bring her back from the ether. We were pressed for time and... And the only body she could find was one of those cursed servants. Can you believe it? Emma, don't start, please. I didn't exactly have much of a choice. Be that as it may, I'm the one inside the body of a masked lackey. I had to deal with the most urgent thing first. We'll try and get you out of there as soon as we can. Just as I promised you. And I'll make sure you make good on your commitment, sister. Emma, for the last time... She is better, don't worry. Being a demon changes many things, and the prospect of getting stuck in the ether for eternity has opened her eyes. Well, I guess it's your decision, but I hope you know what you're doing. 
Are we ready? Can we go now? Louis, at this point, it doesn't matter what you think about me. You need me. I'm guessing you are well aware of what we're about to face, aren't you? Not really. No. That's just what gives us a chance, is it not? It's usually the only argument the Reckless have in their favor. Take heart. We're only about to confront an age-old creature that can read our thoughts and force us to act against our will and wants to devour us. So what's the problem? If that is your attitude, I suggest we reevaluate the possibility of running away. Stop it. Let's all just calm down. Only a few minutes ago, it was just the two of us. Things are looking up. Our chances are only getting better. How do we get rid of him then? Killing him won't change a thing normally. He is capable of changing bodies. I know how to kill a demon. And the irony of it is, he's the one who revealed it to me. We have to make him touch the blood of an older demon in order to encase him in his mortal body. This is the only way that might give us a chance of dealing him a fatal blow. And I've got the Holy Lance. What's that got to do with demons? Christ was his father. Believe me, if we get out of here alive, I'll have a lot of juicy details to tell you about the family. This lance actually received the blood of an ancient demon, and it can work on Mortimer. Let's do it then. Are you sure you're ready for this? Will you be all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. Don't worry about me. As you wish. There you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Hmm, Emma. You brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going! It's working! Get him! Oh, Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over! You've lost! No, Louis! No! Stop! Oh! oh. <laughs> my son! You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. Von Volmer tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal, as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress, Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise 
until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. He enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. The Duchess, through her relationship with the Crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links to the United States, on both the diplomatic and the commercial fronts. She became inseparable from the Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England, and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. Nothing more was ever heard of Lord Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was a topic of conversation in the European courts, but only for a few months. Well, everybody, that's been fun. Been and fun. that was the council. Woo! Woo it's all done. Link two signing out. Link one signing out. <laughs>